welcome. This is WHBS with football Friday night. We're this here. is our first home game. I'm Nathan Welver with Andrew Franklin. And we're here for this matchup today. It's going to be the Westlake Demons versus the Avon Lake Shoremen. Avon Lake comes into this game ranked number four in the state. <coughs> Westlake is 0 and 3. They lost last week to Olmsted Falls. We would like to thank one of our sponsors, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Quality pizza all the time. Led by players from the Westlake Youth Football Association for 2018-19 Westlake Demon. Tonight's game is brought to you by St. John Medical Center and University Hospitals. They are proud to partner with Westlake High School to provide athletic trainer services and sports medicine to our demon athletes. For more than 30 years, St. John Medical Center has served the Westlake community as your health care provider. A reminder to all Westlake fans, please find a seat and cheer on the demons. Please keep the front fence clear so that all may view the game. Thank you for your cooperation. And one final reminder that the Westlake Board of Education has declared its buildings and grounds no smoking areas. Your cooperation in maintaining this no smoking policy is greatly appreciated. Demon fans, remember to root loud for the demons and stay positive. <laughs> ready for kickoff, we will evaluate the weather. It's been a nice day, a little foggy out. Randomly but, dropping in on the fog, we come out. Oh no, a pretty good day for football, a nice breeze. It's not too hot. It's just a helmet. Both teams will take the field now as Westlake is receiving the opening kickoff. Back deep to return, number 33, J.J. Coleman, and number 20, Kevin Walls. Kevin Walls and J.J. Coleman back to receive for Westlake. Number four, Harry Herb 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 the play is blown dead. Walls takes the opening kick for a touchback. Touchback for the Demons. The ball will be put out at the 25 yard line. The 
or 20 yard line. That's NFL rules. Starting at quarterback today for the Demons, number 10, Jacob May, senior. May gets the snap, rolls out to the right, short dump pass off the fingertips of number six, Jacob Jablonski. May's pass to number six, Jacob Jablonski is in That'll bring up a second and 10 for the Demons. Man in motion, May gets a snap, picks hand up, hands off to Coleman up the middle for a short game. Hand off is to number 33, J.J. Coleman. Gain of about a couple of yards on the carry. Two yards on the play. Bring up the third, third down. down for Westlake. Westlake's offense has been pretty decent this year. Bring up large numbers, just getting outscored. May gets his snap, drops back, rolls out to the right, just throws the ball away, avoiding a sack. And then a fourth down, Demons will punt the ball away here. May's pass is incomplete. Pressure on the play from Ryan McCrum. sees the snap, gets the punt off. It's a low line drive. It'll land around the 50 and go out of bounds. So the showmen take over with pretty good field position. May as Westlake's defense takes the field. Where the will take over. Short drive, a three and out for Westlake. Starting for Avon Lake at quarterback, number five, Jack Nicholas. yards on the punt, no return. Takes a snap, quick hand off to number six, and he finds a crease, and he's out to the left, and he's down to the 30 to the 20-yard line. He'll be tackled out of bounds by number 20, Kevin Walls. Great play to open the game up for Avon Lake in the red zone here. Number 20, Kevin Walls, 35 yards on the carry. First and 10 from the Demon 17. Now the 17-yard line, Avon Lake looks to push in to snap. Another handoff, and it'll be tackled for a loss. Leaps on the carry again, wrapped up to the back. Tyler Malin for the tackle. Number 45, Tyler Malin. Tyler Malin moved here from Louisiana over the summer. He's a junior Lost at Westlake High plate. School. Second and 12. Usually an interesting matchup between Avon and Weston. Nikolic gets a snap, looks left, throws an over-the-shoulder pass. It is caught for a great catch for the touchdown. Number 13, Cole Schrafe catches that one in the end zone. Pass to number 13. Cole Schrafe is good for a shoulder touchdown. Avon Lake puts up points in just three plays. It is now 6-0. Going for a kick. Yeah. Avon Lake will now attempt the extra point. Be there to attempt the extra point for Avon Lake. It's 
Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Avon Lake takes a 7 0 lead good. with 10 minutes left in the first quarter. Avon Lake leads 7 0. Looks like we'll look to respond here. out to kick off for the second time. Well, today. and Pullman back again for the Demons to receive her Bears kick. I read the wrong player. I read number six, not number four. I knew it was one off from the quarterback, but it's the wrong way. Kick is up, and it's another deep kick towards the end zone. It's caught in the end zone, which is an automatic touchback. Caught by number 33, Coleman. Coleman. It, and it's another touchback. Demons will take the ball over at Demons the 20-yard line. First and 10 from their own 20. This is just how the game started. So now they're down seven. <laughs> May out at quarterback with receivers Klessel and Walls out wide. Jacob May, I mean Jacob Javonski motion receives a hand up, sweep out to the left, cuts back inside, breaks a tackle, tackle around the 30 yard line, flag on the play. Javonski on the carry, wrapped up on the play by number 79, Owen Callison. Holding, holding on the, the defense. That on play being brought back. Number seven for Avon Lake appears to be down. This is Josh Vlasic. Looks like a leg injury to his right leg. He's up and he will hobble off the field. I was holding on Ryan Cordes, the senior, starting at left tackle for the Demons. Starting at 13th yard line. In the first quarter in SWC action, mid-view seven, Amherst nothing. No, no. Ball at the 17 yard line here for the Demons. May gets a snap, and he'll look for a screen pass to Walls. Catches the pass, breaks the tackle down the sideline, and he'll go out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Good screen play for the first down. And that'll move the chains for a demon first down. So on the replay of first down, they are able to get it. Watch a sweet play to the left here. So run out to the left. Good block. They take it for gain of about seven. 
pushed out by number 44, Matt Sanders. Gain of nine yards on the play. I'm bringing up second and short for the Demons. Second and short for Westlake. snap, quick hand off to JJ, to the outside, and pick up the first down, flag on the play. Tackle by number 21, Nico LaBianca, six yards on the game, and another Demon first down. The flag was thrown by the far Penalty on the play, holding on the We'll see what it is. Holding on Westlake. I believe that was a hold on the outside receiver. Hold him! Number 55 on the offense. The keeper's down. 55. That would be William Uhas. Um had to clear the sidelines. Uh, there was a flag for Sideline warning. Yes, yes, Mike. Sideline warning. Coach Jason, head coach Jason Hall was upset with the call of holding. Demons will have a second and 11 from their own 33-yard line. Watch a play-action play on this. Second and 11 down. Gets the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls out to the right, looks looks back, accelerates, and he'll be sacked for a loss on the play around the 30-yard line. Number 44, Matt Sanders, stops Jacob May. 70 on 59, 73 going towards the uh, loss of four on the play, third and 15. Gets a snap, and he's another screen pass here caught by Jacob Jablonski. And he'll catch this one and he'll go take this one to right, right around the first down marker. I think he was passed. First down should be a first down, depending on the markings. Tackle by number 13, Cole Shrake. So that's two screen plays that have worked for the Demons now on this drive, and that's enough for a Demon first down. Off now to Coleman, bounces out to the right, and pick up a couple on the, on the carry. Tackle by 24, Ryan McCrum. Gain of three on the play, second and seven. Approaching 7.20 left Mid in the first and quarter. Mid-U and up at seven in the first quarter. Maria Midpark 13, North Ridgeville nothing. Avon 7, North Olmstead nothing in SWC action. May in the shotgun. Gets a snap, hand off to Javon on the sweep, breaks a tackle, cuts up the field, runs out to the right, and is dragged down. Carried by Javonski, brought down by number 11, Ethan Shepard. A good run there by Javonski. And that's, that's another Demon, first down. After bumping into the quarterback, he's able to recover. 15 yards the on the carry. Seven minutes now left in the first quarter. Demons are now in Avon Lake territory. Timeout, Shorman. And Avon Timeout Lake. on Shorman. 
Avon yep, Lake will take their first time out here. I've been trying to play around with that, but even like. Well, Wesley, Stephen, I've run a cruise. I have two left for the half. North Coast Jaw and Implant Center, the exclusive sponsor of the 2018 Whiteout Shirts. Thank you, North Coast Jaw. All We've seen some good plays here by the Demons breaking through the, the, the non defense. Yeah. Presentation by Positive Coaching Alliance on Monday, September 17th. That's this Monday at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center at Westlake High School. This one-hour presentation will provide phenomenal takeaways on how to support your child's athletic goals. We hope you can join us this Monday at 7 p.m. They just need to push a little more, maybe get in there for parents only a little harder. The we might have Alliance. a touchdown. And a special shout out at this time to Tom McCabe and Brooklyn Tavern for providing press box and officials food this evening. Thank you very much, Tom and Brooklyn Tavern. In Shorman territory, they will look over and they'll receive the play call. May gets the snap and he'll hand it off to Coleman and run to the right. And he'll break the tackle. And he'll break three. Three twenty to the ten. And push out of the on the five yard line. Around the five. Around the five. By JJ Coleman. Yeah, and he's gonna get the first down. Yeah, 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 he's gonna get Number eight, Klesel Jr. is taken off the field. Same with number three. You got me the best spot the best you May in the shotgun. Gets a snap, fakes the sweep, and he'll run up the middle, and he'll be into a touchdown. Team is answered nicely. And they get some well, looks like the Demons touchdown! Demons going for the extra point. Logan Rummel in to attempt the extra point. I can hear them better, but I think they can get over it. Snap his back, pulls good, kick is up, and it is good. Logan Rumble. Kick is good! The Demons tie it up! 7-7. 7-7. Logan Rumble with the extra point. 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 Logan Rumble with the they were able to overcome those. Six twenty two left in the first quarter. We have a tie ball game. Twenty four Demons going for the kick. Impressive starts offensively for both teams. But it's, it's giving that first drive, the first three out by the Chrome Dusler and David back for the Shoreman. Correction Ostrom, 25. <laughs> back to receive Logan to Rummel's kickoff. Kick three deep for A Rummel to receive this kick. Kick is up to the left, and it's fielded around the 10 yard line. We'll take it up the right hash. It's in the take tackle down. just past the 25 yard line. Dusler runs it back. Avon makes up. Offense will not take over. Tackle on the play by number 23, River Shields. They were able to score just three plays last time they were out on the field. Shorman will. River Shields was with the takedown. Open up first and 10 from their own 27 yard line. Yeah. 
screen. I have, like, to be concerned. Let's just have that quick pass to the flats. And he'll get a block, yeah. and he'll take this one to the 45 yard line. Tackle by number one, Casey Cipollone. Tackle by number one, Casey Cipollone. First down, Shorman. Nice quick dump there for the first down. 17 yards on the reception. A gain of 17 yards for Avon. <laughs> Fakes a hand up and he'll pull this one. Breaks through. This one, he's down to the 30, to the 20. And he'll be tackled from behind by Kevin Walls inside the five yard line. I can't hear you at all. Good decision by the quarterback to pull the ball on that read. Walls with the tackle. Push it. Down to the four yard line, first and goal, Avon Lake. Avon Lake now has five plays on offense, and they just ran all over Westlake's defense. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's do it right now. Number five gets a snap, fakes a handoff, pulls it again, and he will be tackled for no gain on the play. Nicolek on the carry again. Stopped by number 41, Connor Gregory. Their second play that hasn't broken for... Looks like a loss of one on the like play. yards or a touchdown. <coughs> Second and goal. In at nose guard for the Demons, number 53, Nicholas Gauntner. To the snap half to number six and touchdown. easy walking touchdown. And off is to Avon Lake Ritz. answers back within three Morning plays. Lake touchdown. Four plays. So Westlake has now seven plays on offense and 13 points. There appears to be a player hurt for the Demons. Fifty-five. Number fifty-five, William Muhas, down on the play. William Muhas has had shoulder injuries throughout his football playing career, dislocated it several times. I wonder if it's related to that. Harry Hamer out to attempt the extra point for the Shoreman. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up, and it's through the uprights for Avon Lake. Kick is good. 14 to 7 lead. Avon Lake. See if looks like those spots can be as good as they had last drive. You get your official 2018 Demon Spirit Wear at the Spirit Wear truck. Got a lot of new items tonight, including hoodies, t shirts, hats, and blankets. Show your school spirit and your demon pride in custom Westlake gear. Go Demons! Westlake to receive the kickoff here. Amherst has taken lead on the middies, 14 to 7, in the first quarter of Berea Mid Park. Leads North Ridgeville now 20 to nothing. <coughs> Jablonski and Walls. Demons back waiting to receive, to receive the kick, kick from Avon. For Westlake. Jablonski and Walls back deep for Westlake. Number four, Harry Herbert. To kick off once again for Avon Lake. Flag on the play. The flag. Looks like it'll be offsides on the kicking team. Can't cross the ball before it's kicked. 40 yard line. Five-yard penalty, now kicking off from the 45. So we might see a return here. Avon Lake was offsides on the kick. 
You back it up and do it again. Isn't that 30, 30. <laughs> 35. I do that. I do that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Just correct me if I'm right here. Yeah. Kick is a line drive kick. Caught by Jablonski. Five 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 on the Take this one off the left. He'll be breaks a couple of tackles. And he'll be down around the 25 yard line. Sports He's able to break a couple of tackles. Finally brought down by number 11, speed. Ethan Shepard. Best field position of the day for Westside. Demons will take over on their own 26 yard line. First and 10. Jacob May back out at quarterback once again. Snap his back, fakes the handoff, pulls it. Short dump off pass to Dylan Bednar in the flats. And he'll get a gain of about May taking down at 35. To number 44, Dylan Bednar. Dylan Bednar, the 44 Matt Sanders on the tackle. He played a lot last year as a freshman. Nine yards on the reception. Second down. Looks like fakes the snap here. Will not receive the play call. It's a snap of the 30, runs straight out right. He'll get the first down out of bounds around the 40 yard line. Jacob May keeps it. Good job for the first, first down. First down. Pushed out of bounds by number 24, Ryan McCrum. Four minutes left in the first quarter. <coughs> Score is Avon 14, Demon 7. Westlake looks to get the play from. There's a gain of four on the play. Sideline. Westlake has the ball on their own 39. May gets the snap, pass out to the flat. Caught by Jacob Jablonski, breaks another tackle. Taken down. Taken down. May's pass is Loss. complete. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. To Jablonski. Wrapped up by Sanders. Looked like a... Lost a yard on the play. Lost one. Second yeah, down, Lost 11. one on the play. <laughs> Receiving the play. Two receivers out wide right. May gets the snap. Hand off to Coleman on the counter. They'll break a couple of tackles and take this one down to about the 26 the yard line. Brought down by Gain of Around seven yards. So make it a third and manageable. Third and short for Westlake. For Westlake as opposed to a third and long. Probably gonna fake snap here. Yep. Look over to get the play call. Two receivers out right. May gets the snap, fakes a hand off to Coleman, rolls out right. Takes off running, and he'll pick up the first down, tackled out around the 45 yard line. Play Smart action decision May there by Jacob May to keep the ball and not force anything. Just pick up the first down. Gain of eight, and May's got the yardage for another Demon first down. Demon first down. Westlake's moving the ball pretty well again, as they did on their previous drive. May gets the snap, hand off to Coleman. Flag on the play as he's tackled out around the line of scrimmage. Coleman ball carrier brought down by Christian Cabot, number 55 for the Shoreman. Flag on the play. Yeah. 
another hold on the demons. Repeating first down. <coughs> Taken back to where they were before. Would not be surprised to see another screen pass on this play here. First and 15. All two minutes left in the first quarter. Jablonski in motion, out to the left. Take another screen out here, caught way behind the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose. Taken down at 40, 43. After a couple of successful screen plays by Westlake, that one Loss rather of unsuccessful. Six on the Loss of six, second and 21. Loss of six yards. To the draw play to the right. Of six yards. Looks like we have a Avon player down on the play. Got five back on the play. Can't see a number. There's three or four injuries on the game in the first quarter. Third and 16. This gives us like time here to make a play call and get set. Gives us a time for our team to regroup. Yeah. Think about what they're going to do. Offensive play calls were made by uh, offensive coordinator Chris Milano. He sits up in the press box and through the radio. He sends the signals down. He sends the we used to play down to uh, Coach Scheiben, who signals the players. 55, Cabot was the injured showman on the play. Let's see. Let's give him a nice hand. going to be a pass play here. Pass or a screen, one of the two. I don't think they'll go back to a screen. They've been caught twice now. Yeah. So. I think it'll... It it might, it's going to be a pass yeah. out to the left here on the two side right hand. Hey guys. Play being set. It's a snap. Looks left. Steps up in the pocket, decides yeah. to take off and run. Goes out to the left. Taken down at the 40 yard line. 40. Five yards by the first by number one, Zach Kovacs. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Game of 12 on the play. We'll see what they decide to do. They will let the first quarter run out. So as the first quarter runs out, Avon Lake 14, the Demon 7. Big fourth down here for us. Fourth down and four to go, and the Demons will let the clock run out on the first quarter. Welcome back, second quarter. Uh, West 12 Lake. minutes remaining. Westlake West Lake Demons 7, Avon Lake. They just went for it on fourth and four, and Klessel dropped a pass 14. wide open. So turnover on downs, Avon Lake takes over. Quick handoff, tackled in the backfield by number 45, Tyler Malin. Good tackle for a loss there. I'll make it two and 12. 
Tyler Malin with a couple tackles for losses today. Fake handoff here. Quick slant to number 20, caught and tackled by Jacob May. Luke Fetters with the reception, making it third and about five here. Another shotgun play, a pass out to the left, number eight and it is dropped. Michael Augustine with a good defensive play to break up the pass. Bring up a fourth down for Avon Lake. So the Demons are able to get a stop here for the first time today. Looks like Avon Lake will punt it as their kicker, Harry Herbert is out to punt. Now keep in mind, he also plays quarterback, so you could see a fake play here. It doesn't look like it. Number 20 came out for Avon. And number 20 back deep to return, Kevin Walls for Westlake. The punt is up and away. The ball bounces in between the two returners. And it'll be down inside the 10-yard line. So Westlake will take over inside their own 10 yard line. Miscommunication on the return there between Walls and Coleman. And the defense will open up first and 10 from their own 7 yard line. Bad field position here. Amherst has now opened up a 21 7 lead. Over mid view. In the Ten minutes left in the uh, second quarter. Jacob Jablonski in motion. They get a lineman to jump. Looks like it should be an offsides to give. Let's like prevent them from being pinned too deep. This is what they call encroachment on the defense. Looks like we'll get a couple yards here. They've been taken up to the 12 yard line. A better field position. Score better than being in the sixth. Yep, not as much pressure. May gets the snap, handoff to Coleman, who's tackled for a loss in the backfield. Nope. Oh, he breaks it. Breaks it taking and he'll get back to about the line of scrimmage. Coleman breaks the tackle. Defense lineman just let Coleman go there, thinking he had the tackle, but Coleman able to stay on his feet. We are now two and four. We gained a yard. When we are being second and four. Two, one wide receiver out to either side here. We might have Jacob running for a pass. Yeah. There's a, two wide receivers out to the left. The snap back, fake pass to Coleman. Quick pass to the flats. Dylan Bednar tackled around the 20 yard line. That should be good enough for the first down. Tackled by 24, Ryan now Westlake with some breathing room away from their own end zone. Look over to get the play. All right, watch inside run to the left here.
quick snap, run out, sweep out to the left, turn up field by Jablonski, and he'll be tackled around the 24 yard line. Gain of a couple on the play. Avon Lake goes with an odd defensive line here, putting only three up front. May's mouthpiece fell out. Westlake as their first they use of the half they'll have two remaining. Really. At halftime it'll yeah, it'll reset to three. Westlake retakes the field here. Ball plays at the 24 yard line, second and seven. And they'll get them to jump again for the second time in this drive. The second of the drive. So we'll give a second and short now. Second and two. May gets the snap, quick hand off left to Coleman, and he'll be wrapped up and tackled around the 30 yard line. Maybe a gain of about one. Main the shotgun, three receivers out to the right. Whistle blown. Avon Lake makes a substitution. Three receivers out to the right. Coleman to the right of May. Gets a snap, rolls out right here. Eyes up. Finds Joe Klessel for the first down. Past the 35 yard line. For number eight, Joseph Klessel. Brought down by Shepard. Good pickup on the first down. Good catch by Joe Klessel after dropping one earlier. And move the chains. It's a demon first down. Demon first down, one and ten. Demons. Most likely gonna do the fake snap again. Hard count. And look over to get the play. So what Coach Milano is doing here is he's reading the defense to decide which play call he wants to go with. Gets the snap. Looks right. 
and he'll just throw the ball away. It's like they were trying to do like a fake screen play where the defense reacts to the screen and Bednar would sneak out deep, but Bednar was covered. Did not fool Avon Lake, so May just throws the ball away. Smart play. Kessler in motion to the left. May gets a snap and he'll ha counter hand off to Coleman who breaks a tackle up to the 42 yard line. Decent gain here, bringing up third and about. He's now at the 42. Yeah. Give him a third and five, third and six. It's right in the middle of the hash. Is it good? Another offsides drawn. That will be the third. That's the third time on this drive they've done that. So they will be moved to the 47th. They'll be. They will be. They will be moved to the 47, 46 yard. Looks like the refs only moved the ball up four yards. It was a five yard penalty. Have to get that fixed. I'll get better at this. I'll get better at this eventually. Should be a first down. It's a fun job. Or be. close. If not, it'll be third and inches. So third and inches for Westlake. Oh. Now change to a first down. On the yards. Yeah. They only gave it four, and then they fixed it. Yep. It's now We're first down now. for Westlake. First down, six minutes remaining in the second half, second quarter. Drive that started inside Westlake's 10-yard line. Now approaching midfield. May gets the snap, hand off to Coleman up the middle. He'll power through across midfield to about the 50, 51 yard line. Good pick up there for Westlake. So we are now second and seven. Yeah. I saw Jeremy Butcher the other day. Demons are looking over for the play. He is here. I believe he's somewhere. But. I see a run to the left. Run out to the left by May. Good block on the edge by Klessel. Good run out hesitation the move. Yard line. Good move by May to avoid the big hit. Run out to the left, like I called. We are now on Avon's scoring side. Another good drive put together here by Westlake. 65 on ours coming in. Westlake really has control of this game. Is that Dean or Thank you. Which? Yeah, it is very Yeah, Dean. May in the shotgun. Gets the snap, fakes a handoff, rolls out to the right, looking for a receiver, and he'll find Jacob Jablonski with a good catch. Good enough for the first down. Down to the 35 yard line of Avon Lake. Tackle by Fetters. Yes. Um, and we've we got, got some fun moving in. First down. Like trying to go even further. Demons first down. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, how's uh, 
Score is still 7-14, Avon. May gets the snap, a quick pitch out to Coleman. And he'll cut this one up, splits two defenders, and he breaks free inside the 20-yard line. Great move by J.J. Coleman to avoid those two defenders. That's a great move. That was a total of 16 yards gained. First down again. They're now at the 18th yard line. Westlake has really controlled the pace this drive. They've had the ball for over four minutes now. We have some heavy fog moving in. At least that's what it looks like coming from the lights. We have about four minutes left in the second quarter. Timeout Demons. Yep, that's their second of the half. They'll have one left. So 3.39 remaining. Westlake looking to score here. Down 7-14. to 14. Trying to regroup just because of what they've been going through this time. And they're going to make a final push for that touchdown. We've put together a solid drive. Big run plays by Coleman and May. Kevin Walker, JMO Wealth Management, Kelly McLean of College Recruiting Specialists, Rapid Propane Response, the Red in your family. We have been seeing progression fan, in the Demons Chad offense the Delillo, this entire time during the, the second quarter. Sponsorships this year. Thank you all for your continued support of our football program. Football backers, coaches, and players would like to thank the following for providing team meals this year. Panini's in Westlake, Chipotle, C Senor, Yard House, Michael Maloney, the Westlake Law Director, and Brio Tuscan Grill, Berkwood Tavern, Carabas, Applebee's in Avon, and Houlihan's. So first and 10 now from the 18 yard line for Westlake. Looking over for the play call. Let's look, look for a play action pass here. May gets the snap, rolls out left. Tanking down at the uh, 18th, 19th yard line. Stop Ran line out of bounds. J.J. Coleman, the running back out of the backfield, missed the block. Well, it wasn't necessarily missed. Jake, uh, the quarterback just read it wrong. Loss of one in the play, second down, 11. From the 19th Demons reading the play. May alone in the shotgun. Now Coleman in, in motion, hands it off, sweep to the right, turns up field, and he will be tackled around the 18 yard line. JJ Avon's picking up their defense. Tackled by 79 Owen Callison. Bring up a third and 10. Gain of two on the play. Third down and nine to go. There'll be three and nine now. 17th yard line. Three minutes left. May in the shotgun, two receivers to either side. Aces formation for Westlake. Gets, gets a snap and the whistle's blown dead. See what the call is for. Delay of game. Moving back five yards. Yeah, Jacob did not get the snap off in time and the play clock ran out. Yeah, so five yard penalty. Five yard penalty makes it third and 14. We have a nice cold breeze coming in from the north. So third and 14 now for Westlake. Let's see if they can 
get pick up the first down here. Jablonski in motion to the left. May gets a snap, and he'll look that way. And he'll roll out to the left. And he'll pass it for the end zone jump ball. Swatted down by Avon Lake. May under pressure. Trying to get it to number six, Jacob Jablonski. Right idea, just Broken missed. Broken up by Luke Fetters. Fourth down, Demons. Pause way to look at it is that we weren't taken down all the way back there. Yeah. He got rid of the ball, which was yep. a good thing that, to do. Yeah, that's a smart play. Except the only thing is you don't want to throw it up for an interception, but he knew that it wouldn't. So now fourth and 14 here for Westlake. This is out of their field goal kicker, Logan Rummel's range, so they will go for it. Deep in Avon Lake's territory. Gets the snap, looks to the left, steps up in the pocket, delivers a throw over the middle, and swatted down. Pass intended for Kevin Walls. Good defensive play by Avon Lake. It will take over at the 22-yard line. So after a long, successful drive by Westlake, they come up empty to remain down by seven points. Score updates around the league. At last report, Maria Midpark was leading North Ridgeville 29 to nothing. Amherst over Midview. Avon Lake will take over 222 left, looking to score going into halftime. Take a two possession lead. That would be big, especially because they get the ball to start the second half. Quick handoff, number six, he'll crawl forward to about 23 yard line. Breaks the ball carrier. Tackle by number 45, Malin. Avon's offense seven. seems to be suffering a little bit right now, but I'm sure the Demons are actually pushing back a little harder than they were in the first quarter. Yeah. Back to pass, complete out in the flats, number nine. Be down around the first yard line. Looks like he was able to stretch forward to get the first down. Tackle on the play, number 12, Cal Regai. Let's see where they mark the ball. Sophomore Cal Regai with the tackle. Starting on defense for Westlake. Gain of seven. At they didn't give the signal, corner. Guys. They operate the rough the Avon does get that first down. Seems seems to be a mix up with the chains. Be a third and very short here for Avon Lake. Chains crew thought it was a first down and they moved the chains. 120 left in this in the first half. Quarterback keeper will get tackled by number 52, Pat Lavecchia. Tackled by number 41, Connor Gregory. There was a mix up, they needed one more yeah, yard, so now it down, will be a short run. First down. Avon Lake will take their second time out of the half. They have one left. Both teams have one timeout remaining. 116 left in this first half. Avon Lake at their own 35 yard line. Trying to put a drive together to punch the ball in, take a two possession lead at half. Please join fellow Demons fans and Hail Mary's, one of our team sponsors. Bring today's game ticket to Hail Mary's after the game to receive a free appetizer. Both teams back out on the field now. Both getting ready to face each other in the last minute, minute 20 seconds of the game, or second quarter. Korak gets a snap and he'll be hit as he throws across the middle, complete to number 
20. Luke Fetters. A couple nice catches on the day for him to move the chains again. First down. Clock stops on first downs until the chains are set. Clock rolls again. 110. He'll get the snap. He'll look right, throw deep. And a tremendous catch by number 13 for Avon Lake. He caught that ball over Michael Augustine. Good throw and catch there. One minute left as the clock is paused to move the chains. And now the clock begins to roll again. Under a minute remaining. Hand off, no break free. Into the end zone, touchdown. Number six, Connor Riggs, his second touchdown of the day. Avon Lake now takes a two possession lead over the Westlake Demons. Riggs, who goes 23 yards for the Shoreman score. 23 yard touchdown run, under a minute left in this first half. That is not what you wanted if you're Westlake. And each play really makes the game more interesting because you, if you look at it, we were so close and every play counts so much that now we're at our own end zone. And the kick is clean through the top right part of the field goal. Kick is up and good. So 21 to 7, Avon Lake takes a 14 point lead with 53 seconds remaining in the half. That is not what you wanted for Westlake. Now down two possessions. Avon Lake also gets the ball to start the second half. So the fog continues to roll in here. We haven't had fog like this in like forever. Yeah. The fog is pretty thick from up here. I don't know how much it's affecting the sight on the field, but I don't think it's too much. JJ Coleman and Kevin Walls back to receive for Westlake. Coleman and Walls back deep to receive for Westlake. The fourth kickoff of the game for Avon Lake. Number four for Avon going for the kick. Kick is deep, back to the left, gonna be fielded by Coleman. Got a chance to return this one at the five yard Easy line, Coleman up to the, the 20 yard line, and he'll break a couple of tackles out to the right, to the sideline, past the 35, just shy of the 40. Good return for Coleman. Give Jack Demons a chance to put some board, points on the board to end the half. If you're Westlake, you'd love to get points on the board here. Keep it within one possession going into half. As the Demons will take it over first and 10, 46 seconds left. Odd front for Avon Lake, anticipating pass. May gets the snap, rolls out to the left, quick pass to Klessel who makes the catch and he'll break a tackle and he's down to the 45 yard line. Under 40 seconds left. In this first half, good way to start off this drive. We have our Westlake Demons marching band forming over in the left side of the field. May gets the snap again, screen pass to 30, to Coleman, we tackled for at the line of scrimmage. Scrimmage. <laughs> Under 30 seconds left in the game. Officials timeout. We'll see what for. 
An official timeout on the field. Give a hand for JJ coming. Coleman. Coleman coming in. Coming out. Putting Connor Gregory in for Westlake out at, at running back. Coleman may have had an equipment issue or some blood on him or something that they need to take care of before he can play on the field. Athletic Development Foundation would like to thank major donors this evening, University Hospital St. John's Medical Center, Fairview Hospital, RPM in Togus, Nordson's, Nelson Bain Clinic, Drug Mart, First Federal of Lakewood, the Cleveland Clinic, North Coast Jaw and Implant Center, and Pat the Tans Craft Centers for their generosity in helping to accomplish our goal. Both teams break their huddles and now return to get set up for this next play. Second and ten, under 30 seconds. Demons in Avon Lake territory. May gets the snap. He'll look to the right. He'll step up. So there was a good throw off the hands of Jacob Jablonski. Drops the seconds pass. left. That would have drops the pass. He was wide open. Do it again at third and ten. Would have been a nice pickup. Be at the thirty yard line. That's a couple of drops today for Westlake. I think it's the second or third drop for us like today. Yeah. First first by Jablonski. May gets the snap, looks left, he'll take off and run, and he'll be sacked for a loss back in demon territory. As the clock rolls. Five seconds. Left. Looks like Westlake will just run the clock out. Don't know why they didn't run a play there just to take a chance and try and get something going. But now at halftime, Avon Lake takes a 21 to seven lead. They will they have the ball to receive for the second half. We will come back to you after halftime, 20 minute break. See y'all folks in the third quarter. This has been Nathan Welver and Andrew.
Um, I think realistically, I think Avon Lake will take the momentum they had going into the half and just take off and win by about 30 points. It's going to be 107 to 21. <laughs> Demons, of course. Oh. There's no way <laughs> that they can lose. All right, all right. I like the optimism. Who doesn't? Maybe some Avon Lake fans. All right, Westlake will be kicking off to Avon Lake, who will receive the ball to start the second half, looking to expand on their lead. Right now, Avon Lake has a... They're, they're doing a great job running the football, and Westlake has done a good job on offense controlling the game. However, they've just been unable to punch it in the end zone the last couple of times. Yeah. Westlake has not been able to get into the end zone much this game, only once in the very beginning. Yeah. They've put together a few solid drives, kind of like that first scoring drive, but they just haven't punched it in. Like last drive they had at the half, they got inside the 20 yard line. Logan Rummel to kick off for the Demons, the senior kicker in his second year kicking. Three returners deep for Avon Lake. Rummel ready to kick. And there goes the kick. Second half is underway. Returned around the 10 yard line, taking up the right hash. Pretty good return past the 30 yard line here. Avon Lake with decent field position to start this second half. Demon defense takes the field. They gave up a late touchdown on Avon Lake's last possession in that second quarter. Number five, Jack Mikulich. Oh, got it, yeah. Still in at quarterback. He's in the shotgun formation, three receivers out to the left. And they got Westlake to jump. It looks like it's going to be a false start on Avon Lake. Now, I think the ref signaled false yeah. start, so... So now first and 15 here for Avon Lake. Same formation, three receivers out to the left, one out to the right. I'm calling it right now. Avon Lake's just going to throw it right downfield. All right, we'll see. And a quick handoff to number six, breaks a couple of tackles out to the left in open field, and he was past midfield. Good tackle by Jacob May in open field. He, he just ran straight down like a bullet right there. Yeah. Uh, one of the receivers, I think number 20, was blocking two people just by himself. 27 yards and a short and first down on the demon side of the field at about the 48. Once again, three receivers out to the left. Quarterback in the shotgun. Quarterback gets a snap, another quick handoff. This time he'll be tackled for no gain. Oh, that one had nothing going for it right there. That's what you want out of your defensive line, to be able to get that penetration and make this contact as early as possible. Westlake is going to get that 107 right there. Oh, yeah. Number eight, Creed Bologna on the field for Avon Lake. He's wide out to the left. Looks like we'll get a penalty on American. the offense. Wasn't a Russian, wasn't a Chinese. It was a yellow flag. <laughs> Another false start by Avon Lake. That's two in this opening possession. Are you allowed to get as many penalties as you want in this game? Yes, there's no penalty limit. Then why don't people just do penalties all the time? 
Because you don't want penalties. Yeah, but if they're at like the one yard line, you just keep doing penalties, they'll never get you through you. I mean, interesting strategy. Report this to like the NFL, whoever we need to, this is a problem. Yep. Quarterback throws this one over the middle. Receiver was tightly contested. It looks like there was some contact, but no flag on the play. He's second and 15 once again. I mean, third and 15 now. Mikulic in the shotgun. Third and 15. Gets the low snap, looks to the right, throws it, and it is complete. But he is down shy of the first down. A nice throw and catch there to number 13, Cole Schraff. But it will bring up a fourth down. Casey Sipalone is down on the play for Westlake. Appears to have a lower body injury. Casey, throughout his football career, has had a series of injuries each year. Cipollone is a little undersized at 5'9", 150. Probably the lightest player out there right now, so looks like He's limping on his left leg as he walks off the field with the help of the trainer. That's a bad sign for Westlake losing any player at all. Yeah. They have one inactive player for their varsity team. Number 22, John Poole III, is out with a knee injury. He plays predominantly cornerback when he's in. It looks like Avon Lake will go for it here on fourth and two. See, if they're committing penalties, it would never come to this. Yeah. Another hard snap. Correct is the snap, quick handoff, and he is tackled for a loss. That'll be a turnover on downs. Westlake saw that. Tackle made by number 52, Pat Lavecchia. Westlake saw that, and they just put up the brick. Say it with me, house. <laughs> Good defensive stop by Westlake there. I got to say, going into the second half, Westlake is definitely playing a better defense than it did in the first. Yeah, that was a good defensive set, except for that very first play, that big run. Yeah. But they were able to recover and get a turnover. Westlake prevented them from getting any more yardage, and I think that's all that matters. First turnover for Avon Lake today. Westlake takes over. Ball on the 41 yard line. Good field position here. Jacob May in at quarterback. Two receivers out to the right and the left. Jacob Jamonski goes in motion to the right. Fakes a handoff. Gives it to JJ Coleman who hits the hole and is tackled down around the 50 yard line. It's not in October, but that was definitely a trick, not a treat. <laughs> Tree for West. <laughs> Second and two for the Demons after the good run by J.J. Coleman. Demons look over to receive the play call. May gets the snap, hands it to Coleman. He's able to pick up the first down and a couple more yards down to the 45-yard line about. That's good enough for a first down. Down by number 73, Ryan Beckman. And J.J. Coleman has another demon first down. Good way to start this possession for Westlake. Look for a run to the left here for Westlake. It's handed off to the left. Coleman hits a hole. Is able to pick up a couple on the play. These running plays, though slower, are just making gradual 
Yep. Um, the yards here. The running plays help Westlake control the pace of the game. Play action or sweep here. May gets a snap. Play action. Looks to the right. Throws the ball deep. Intended for Jacob Jablonski. And it is off the hands of Jablonski near the goal line. That's the second pass off of Jablonski's hands on the game. And he looks like he might be hurt. Brings up a third and six after the incompletion. Jablonski is down near the goal line after attempting to make the catch. Looks like his leg was landed on funny. And he is up and limping over to the sideline. Appears to be a right leg injury. That's a tough loss for Westlake, one of their better offensive receivers. If he's yeah. not able to return. Almost had the catch there too. That would have been some major yardage. Yeah. Brings up a third and six. Westlake looks to convert this third down play. And if they don't, I would think they go for it as they're in four down territory. Jacob May will be in the shotgun. Two receivers out to either side. Motion, roll out to the right. May looks down the field, sees nothing, cuts back, decides to take off and run, and takes it in close to the 35 yard line. Looks like he'll be a yard short of the first down. Fourth and short. We'll see. I would think Westlake goes for it here. That's embarrassing. So that's embarrassing. Yeah. You lost that. Yeah, that Setting up. May looks to get the. Quarterback sneak. This is going to be the one. You ready? He gets a snap and he'll spin to the right. Trying to pick up the first down. We'll see where they mark it. That was not the one. <laughs> it looks like he was able to get it. We'll see where they mark it. He, he was able to spin to his left. First down, Westlake. Able to convert on that fourth and short by the QB sneak by Jacob May, who appears to be limping a bit, but will stay in the game. Avon Lake has requested a measurement of the ball, so they will bring out the chains to see. They will bring out the chains to see if the ball indeed crossed the first down marker. This is going to be a controversial call, no matter what they say. Yeah. Like it's going to be a first down. Yeah, we'll see when they stretch out the chain. 
I don't have a good view of it. Yeah, everyone's blocking the way. The atmosphere is tense. And it will be confirmed a first down for Westlake. The measurement is unable to overturn. So Westlake continues their good drive here, getting a new set of downs. First and 10 from the 36 yard line. May in the shotgun. Gets the snap, quick hand off to Coleman, up the middle, breaks a couple tackles, and he'll take this one past the first down marker inside the 25 yard line. Another good run for JJ Coleman. This is about where Wesley got to on their final, on their second to last drive of the first half, and they were unable to score. May gets the snap, and he'll hand this one off to Coleman. Another good run here for a good pickup. This time he's inside the 20, down to about the 15-yard line. So a couple of good runs by Coleman. Brings up a second and about one. Snap to May. Another handoff to Coleman. And he'll, he cuts back upfield and he'll slip. He slips. Uh, he got all tripped up there. He was trying to follow the lead blocker, Ryan Cordes, but lost his footing. He is able to pick up a first down. First and goal from the nine yard line now. First and goal from the nine. Osaik looks over for the play call. May gets the snap, hands off to Coleman again. Pick up some more, flag down on the play. Oh, and he, he's able to escape the pile up into the end zone. But oh, there's, there's a flag, flag on the play. The there. Score, there is a penalty flag on the play. Be a hold on Westlake, it looks like. The impressive run by J.J. Coleman. Very Marshawn Lynch like play. We need the lights on, guys, so I can see. So that was a hold on Nolan, number 76 for Westlake. He's a sophomore. He's currently in at center. Westlake looks over to get the play call. Number six, Jacob Jablonski back in the game after missing a couple of snaps. Jablonski, another handoff to Coleman, who cuts up field. And this one back to the 15-yard line. Stop by 79, Callison. Another good run by Coleman. down to the 15-yard line. Second down, Demons. It's like they're going to have a... Boot to the left here, a rollout, play action play. It's my guess. It's a snap and he rolls out to the left and he's pressured, he throws it up. Uncatchable for Dylan Bednar. Good penetration by Avon Lake to get pressure on Jacob May. Pass defense, 
So now we have third and goal from the 15. Westlake will have two attempts here at the end zone because they will go for it on fourth down. I personally think they should replace the football with a ham. What do you think about that? I mean, it's called a pigskin. You, so. you got where I was going. Yeah. That could be like a fun little Thanksgiving activity. <laughs> Snap back to May, who looks to the end zone. It's thrown way overthrown out of the back of the end zone. Almost hit Mrs. Gregory, who's taking pictures for the demons. This will bring up a fourth and 15. Westlake will go for it here. The demons are very close to scoring right now, but they seem to be choking a little right now. Yeah, this is just what happened on that one drive when they were down 14 to 7 late in the second in the first half. Unable to punch it in. Snap back to May. He looks left. Steps up in the pocket. Throws to Bednar. And it's off his fingertips. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. Avon Lake will take over with a 14-point lead. So once again, a good drive, but coming up empty for Westlake. Miscommunication on Westlake's defense. False start on Avon Lake amidst the, commu the confusion. Like Westlake had 12 men on the field. They were able to get out of that one for the false start. So Avon Lake is pinned back in their own territory, first and 15. They got it. They got to start going early here. They keep yeah. getting large bags. That's the third of the half. Number five in the shotgun for Avon Lake gets a snap, throws out into the flats, complete, and he he'll oh, escape free. Gone. He's, he's down gone. the right side. There is and he no escapes stopping the defense. him. To the 30, to the 20, to the 10, I think. Yeah. <laughs> a touchdown for Avon Lake, a 90 yard touchdown pass to no from number five, Jack Mikulic, number 24, Ryan McCrum. When he was going there, he was going so fast, I forgot how to count. <laughs> it's a good play there for Avon Lake. All right, quick pass to the flats. And Avon Lake takes a 27 to seven lead. They're on to attempt the point after touchdown. Number four, Harry Herbert back. Three for three on the day. Snap is back, kick is up, and it is good once again. Four for four. Extra point is good. Avon Lake takes a 28 to seven lead, just under four minutes left in the third quarter. That 90 yard touchdown pass. WDAB would like to thank corporate champion Maloney and Novotny. Commitment and technical. Looks like we'll look to respond to. Start burying themselves out of this hole. He put together a good drive last time out, just una unable to score it once again inside the red zone. Demons need to get into shape. Time is limited at this point. Yeah, approaching the end of the third quarter. There's about 16 minutes left of game time. 
more than 50 vendors expected this year. And that is tomorrow. You can shop from homemade crafts, jewelry, home decor, makeup, health and wellness products, cooking, and more. If you have any questions, email hometown vendors at outlook.com. JJ Coleman and Jacob Jablonski deep to return for the Demons. Saturday, September 15th. Pretty unsuccessful on the kickoff returns today. Of the Huskies. Kevin Walls had a kickoff return a couple weeks ago. And I believe he also had one last week. But it is Jablonski and Coleman deep. Not Walls. Kick is up and it's deep and it'll be fielded at the one yard line by Coleman. And he'll bring this one up to the right. Coleman from the two. Trying to get to the edge. Cuts back. Breaks a, a tackle oh. and he'll be tackled close to the 25 yard line. Number 18, Michael Stewie on the tackle. First and 10 from the 24 yard line for the Demons. 22 yards on the return. Demons will open up here first and 10 from their 24. And we need to thank First Federal of Lakewood, a proud supporter of the Demons with branches on Detroit and Crocker. We are your community bank. Visit the Demons take over here, looking to put together another First solid drive. Hopefully they can get in the end zone this time. Jacob May in the shotgun. Gets the snap, looks left. Plenty of time. Throws and it's oh. going to be intercepted. And that'll be a pick six for Avon Lake. Interception by number 20, Luke Fetters. We're going to go to our silent report. Julia, Julia, what do you think about that last play? Wow, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> I don't think she's paying attention. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> Avon Lake taking a commanding lead now. Westlake just burying themselves deeper into this hole. So the number four team in the state, Avon Lake, now takes a 34 to seven lead. After that pick six, thrown by Jacob May. His first interception of the, of the game. The first takeaway by either team. Ooh. This extra point is, is good. 35 to seven now. Looked a bit sideways there, but I guess it's in. Unless, let's get a conspiracy going here. <laughs> the refs are working for Avon Lake, your opinion? Um, I mean, it's always a possibility. It, it's, it's, a, it's a definite at this point. I mean, how else would the Demons be down by this much? Uh, I mean, I just think. Are you saying the other team could be more skilled? I, I know the other team is more skilled. Blast for me. <laughs> I just tell it like it is. So now, back deep to return for Westlake, number 14, Adam Tinline, the junior, and number six, Jacob Jablonski. Deep to return. Avon Lake ready to kick the ball back off to Westlake. The kick is up and it is returnable. It will bounce in front of Adam Tinline and he'll pick it up around the 15 yard line and just get lit up. Ball will be around 
the 12 yard line. Tim line on the return. Demons were lucky to not, the Demons were, yeah, lucky to not turn the ball over there. Was able to field it and hold on to it. And now in at quarterback, number 15, Jacob Collins. Jacob Collins in at quarterback for Westlake. Here's Jacob May is on the bench on the sidelines. Jake gets a snap, quick handoff to Coleman. JJ Coleman on the carry. For maybe a gain of a yard. Correction, 41 Connor Gregory on the carry. Actually that was Connor Gregory on the carry. The sophomore sibling of Jackson Gregory, number 78. Collins in the shotgun. Two receivers out wide to either side. Jablonski in motion and a handoff to him for the sweep. We'll take this one, cuts back up field. Nothing working. Jablonski with the football. Avon Lake has a fush officially put up the wall here. Number 42, Kyle Chandler. Down and six for the Demons. Jake Collins, the sophomore, in at quarterback now. Jablonski in motion. Collins gets a snap. Draw play to Coleman to the right side. Nothing working. Coleman the ball carrier. And it'll be a fourth down, and it looks like the Demons will punt the ball away. Runs into the wall of Shorman. This is kind of what you expected coming into this game. Demons were looking good. Early third quarter, they were gaining some yards, but now Avon Lake has just shut them down. Yeah. This is just where talent kicks in. They've put up the wall. Avon, leave these demons alone. Collins with the punt. Bounces at the 40, back to the 50 fielded. And is up the left sideline, and he'll be tackled out of bounds. By number 71, Tim Garrett, the junior. The solid tackle. Avon Lake with a 35 to 7 lead towards the end of the third quarter. Snap back, pitch to the right. Number six takes it out right. And he's a good gain, stays on his feet, out of bounds around the 20 yard line, but there's a flag on the play. We'll see what that was for. It's gonna be against Avon Lake, so that play is coming back after the good run once again. So another holding play. Westlake really saved by the penalty this time. Yeah. Let's see if they can capitalize on it.
First and 19 from their own 48 yard line. Mikulic takes the snap, quick, fake handoff. The slant is incomplete to number 20, Luke Fetters. That play has been pretty successful throughout the game. River Shields able to break up the pass. Westlake's defense holds strong most of the time, but the offense is just not holding up its end. Yeah. Pitch out to the right, number six, and he he's out he's gone. down the sideline. He's gone. 52-yard touchdown for number six, Connor Riggs. Just when I complimented the defense. Yeah. Avon Lake out for the PAT. Five for five on the game. Snap is back, holds is good, kick is up, and it's good once again. 42 to seven. Avon Lake takes the lead, well, keeps the lead, expands their lead. It might be 107 to 7. Nice. My mistake. <laughs> beautiful night for football on a beautiful field, and you can be a part of the dynamic organization and help make that happen. Become a member of the Westlake Demons Athletic Boosters today. WDAV supports all teams at Lee Burnison Middle School and Westlake High School. Help WDAV be 300 members strong in 2018. Join today at www.westlakeathleticboosters. We're going to go to our sideline reporter, Jakob. Jakob, what do you think of the Demons' performance so far in the second half? I think it's been a little disappointing to be honest I mean it's been really good though we've had a lot of good I think overall in the game we've had a lot of good plays we need to uh, I think we need to work on a couple areas like our O-line needs to work with uh, penalties we seem to be having a lot of yards lost due to penalties especially on bigger plays thank you Jakob our favorite sideline reporter yeah everyone else cannot compare to Jakob <laughs> Back deep to return for Westlake, Coleman and Jablonski. Kick, the kick is high, and it's returned by, oh, it's off of Jablonski. He muffs it, but he's able to pick it up and take this one to the 35 yard line. He's able to recover on the drop on the kick. Let's say we'll take over around the 35-yard line. Takes it up to about the 35-yard line. Not a bad place to start, but not the greatest. Michael Stewie on the tackle. It's definitely one of the better starts, better field position Westlake has had today. And we have now reached the end of the third quarter. Avon Lake 42, Westlake 7. Once again, tonight's game is brought to you by St. John Medical Center and University Hospitals. They are proud to partner with Westlake High School to provide athletic trainer services and sports medicine to our demon athletes. For more than 30 years, St. John Medical Center has served the Westlake community as your health care provider. Welcome to Band Back to the fourth quarter. We are indeed crazy in love with our corporate champion sponsors, North Coast Jaw and Implant Center, Madison Eye Care, Gloria Devante, 
Bush Federal play point and Michael Delabella and the MDB team. We are back at the start of this fourth quarter. Westlake takes over the ball with the 35-yard line. Cuts by the quarterback, Jake Collins, and he will be tackled for a loss of about five. So I did some quick calculations here. Uh huh. Westlake's got a score. 2.916 six repeating touchdowns to win this game. No, well, no. Every minute. I, yeah, every minute here. So, uh, it's looking good. All right, they got a shot. Take a crazy comeback to tie the game up. Collins in the shotgun gets a snap, hands it off to Connor Gregory. Helmet comes flying off. Looks to be a bit of a scrum out there. And Jackson Gregory's helmet comes flying off. He seems to be mad about something. So I did those calculations wrong. They got the score, point four touchdowns a minute. Approximately. To just tie up the game. Collins in the shotgun. Takes a snap, rolls out to the right, and throws, and it's off the fingertips of Joe Klessel. Collins pass incomplete to Klessel. Westlake has got to find a way to focus up right now. They are not in the zone. Collins in the shotgun. They're able to get Avon Lake to jump. Westlake has started to. No. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Westlake has started to sub in some players you don't normally play. Number 13, Lamar Griggs, who's been out recently with a meniscus injury, is on the field for offense. He plays mostly defense. Collins looks to punt the ball away, and it's a high punt. Will land around the 40-yard line, take a bad bounce back to the 50. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. Avon Lake takes over with 8.45 left in the game. 35-point lead. Down by number 66, Ryan Cortez. Avon Lake will take over on their own 49. This will turn into a running clock. Looks like the backup quarterback's in, and he'll hand the ball off for a gain of about... Five yards. Avon Lake's backup quarterback number four, Harry Heber. I don't know how to say his last name. Who is also their kicker is now in at quarterback. Hey Bear in the shotgun gets the snap, fakes a handoff, keeps the ball, is able to run to the right, just shy of the first down. He was almost home free, but he just got caught. Yeah, Connor Gregory with the impressive tackle there.
Things tightening a little bit between Berea Mid Park and North Ridgeville. It's 36-27 Titans. Hey, Bear in the shotgun. Three receivers out to the left. Gets a snap, pulls the ball again. Another tackle by Connor Gregory, the sophomore, but he's able to pick up the first down. First and ten from the 40-yard line. Hey, Bear gets the snap, keeps the ball again, and falls behind the line of scrimmage for a loss on the play. Second and 12 for Avon Lake. Clock rolling, approaching six minutes now. Avon Lake just looking to chew clock up. Play is blown dead. We'll see what the call in the field is. Timeout, Avon Lake, their first of the half. Right now, Avon Lake should be employing. Avon Lake should be employing the penalty strategy right about now. It would be very useful. Yeah, it could. They're just looking to run out the clock here and get this game over with. The big 35 point lead. I think it's been over for like the past two quarters, honestly. Yeah, I mean. Cooperation and maintaining our no smoking policy is greatly appreciated this evening. And the shotgun. Pass out to the left of the flats. It's caught by number 25 who cuts back upfield and will be tackled inside the 40 yard line. Third down and nine after the gain of three. Penalty marker. Penalty on the play. Looks like the refs are talking to number 53, Nicholas Gauntner, the junior at Westlake. As the clock continues to roll, now under five minutes. That's what I'm saying. It's a conspiracy. The refs are running out the clock for Avon Lake. There's a penalty against Avon Lake. I'm not sure what they were explaining to uh, Gauntner on the play. He's a Westlake player. So second and long now. The clock continues to roll down now to four minutes left in the game. Make it second and 20 from the short end, 45. Hey Bear gets a snap. Looks to the left, short dumb play again, caught by number 26, and he'll be tackled right around the line of scrimmage. 
a little under four minutes here. It seems like Westlake is not going to be able to come back from this one. Yeah. Game is over. Avon Lake will just run out the clock. Another flag on the play. Holding. They're using the penalty strategy right now. They are. <laughs> So it'll remain second down and long. That penalty on number 25, Matt Olstrom, the junior running back. Called for block in the back. So now we have second and 35. Now under three minutes left in the game. Hey Bear in the shotgun, three receivers out to the right. Gets the snap, hands it off. This running back breaks a bunch of tackles and he escapes free and he's down the sideline and he will be just short of the goal line. What an impressive run by number 26, Josh David. Three yards on the run. Down Josh David there is a literal tank. <laughs> River Shields. He broke a, a lot of tackles. He broke, I, I'd say, at least five or six First tackles there. Yeah, that's an impressive run. Now two minutes left in this game. Avon Lake looking to put another touchdown on the board. I think it's just overkill at this point. Yeah, I think I think they'll just take a knee. Why kick them while they're down? Yeah. Yep, and Avon Lake lines up in the victory formation. Number four, Harry Haybear will take the snap. And... He's going to take a knee on the play. And he will take a knee to run the clock out. Looks like I think they'll have to do it one more time. The clock continues to roll down now under a minute left. Avon Lake will take a victory, 42 to seven. Can we get a rip and chat for the demons? They, yeah. they tried, but once it got to that third quarter, the score was too heavy. Yes. West Lake was able to hang in there for about a quarter and a half, the score being seven to seven. And they, here's the final snap on the play. And this will end the game as the teams line up to handshake. So Westlake was able to hang in there through a quarter and a half. They went down 14-7 and failed to score in the red zone. And Avon Lake took advantage of that and took a 14-point lead. And they took a 14-point lead in the halftime and just took off with that lead for the second half and never looked back. Final score there is going to be 42 Avon Lake, 7 for the Westlake Demons. This has been Nathaniel the Steed Udehark. And Andrew Franklin. Signing off.